A friend of mine sent me an inspirational card and it reminded me of a story that I haven't thought of in years, a real miracle that took place in my life. Here's, here's what the card said. When we run out of gas, God still got a full tank. When we can't do it, God can. I'm praying that you'll depend on God. If you've got the faith, God's got the fuel. It was around 1990, and at that time, I had a big ministry, and I had a Cadillac. Uh, I had bought the Cadillac used, and it was, it was one of the best cars I've ever had. It was the big Cadillac, the giant size Cadillac, where you could, uh, because I did a lot of entertaining, you could take six people in it, <laughs> and even in today's world, social distance. It was that big inside. Well, there was a time that I was taking my kids on vacation. My daughter and my son, they were in the back seat of the car, and I remember we had to do a lot in a short period of time because I didn't have a lot of time off. We were driving on the interstate between Nashville and, and um, Chattanooga. And that is mountainous. And at that time, around 1990, it was a different time for travel. It was around midnight the kids were awake. We were singing and playing games, and uh, and then, and then I looked at the fuel gauge on that car, and it had less, much less than a quarter of a tank. Now that car, as good as it was, and as good as it ran, it got the worst mileage of any car I've ever owned. I had a friend one time ask me, what kind of mileage do you get on this car? And I said, one. And that was not that much of an exaggeration. Well, here we are. We're on this road in practically the middle of the night. And I knew that that car was going to run out of gas. And we were going to be stranded by the side of the road. And I said, to the kids, I said, we need to start praying for a miracle that God will get us to a gas station. Well, we started to pray, and that car's fuel gauge kept going down and down and down and down. And we would pull into gas stations, but they were closed. They were going to reopen in the morning. Well, I actually considered sleeping in the gas station. But in faith, we kept on. And we kept on and on and on. We drove about 80 miles without any fuel in that car. And to finally getting to Chattanooga, where there was a truck stop open. And we got gas there. Now, I tell you, that was absolutely impossible. By the way, I'll tell you, when we pulled into the truck stop by the pump, the car ran out of gas. Totally out. Dry as a bone. I've never forgotten that, and I've never been able to explain that. Miracles are that way. When something happens that way, you can't explain it. The next week, the next month, the next year, the car got terrible gas mileage. You would literally see the fuel gauge go down as you went across the city. And that car didn't fool around. I had run out of gas in that car before. When it said empty, <laughs> I guarantee you that car was empty. And yet, on empty, we were able to not just drive on a level road, but that was mountainous, up and down, until we got to Chattanooga. Billy Graham once said this, God is able to do what we can't do. 
God is able to push a car that's have has no fuel in it and get it to a gas station pump. The things which are impossible with humans are possible with God. That's from Luke 18, verse 27. I think fondly of that car even today. One of my favorite cars ever. Didn't cost very much, but I tell you, somewhere that car is still running right now. If people have the the money to put <laughs> the gas in the tank constantly. I guess today would be a better time for that. Driving to Georgia recently, I bought gas for $1.19. Couldn't believe it. Well, I pray that you have miracles like that too. When you yourself, you feel like you're out of fuel, that you can't go on, that God will infill you with new motivation, new energy, new power to get to where you need to go that you can have the miracles of God, that you can have things happen that could only be possible if God were in it.